All right, we want to take a minute to go over personal travel kits and med kits. We get a lot of questions about this. We teach it on our conferences to kind of what you need for an expedition, but this is just a quick video on what you should take so you're prepared before we get to that point. Um, again, there's some basic meds that I think you need on every trip, and we've sort of laid some of this out that we'll talk about. Um, this is just a little pill organizer, again, for travel. So when you open it up, you've got all types of different uh, pills that you may need. If you're going to altitude, you might have your altitude medications, your antibiotics, your GI stuff. The most common things, bumps, scrapes, musculoskeletal. You're going to need some ibuprofen, some Tylenol. If you're used to drinking a lot of caffeine, you may want some Tylenol with caffeine in it. GI stuff, third world countries, that's probably the most common thing we're going to be taking care of. So Imodium, Zofran. Um, some sort of antibiotic that covers uh, diarrhea, like azithromycin. And so usually we think of at least a couple of antibiotics, if you're a primary care doc or you write it for yourself. Um, azithromycin and doxycycline are going to cover almost everything you need um, in the wilderness setting for pneumonia, for skin, for uh, diarrhea. And so I think labeling those medications, having it in the organizer is really important. So there is some problems when you travel internationally. You can see here, this has been traveled a few times, dexamethasone's all crushed. Not a good idea to show up in another country with a crushed powder, especially if it's white. Mm -hmm. um, you can get these labeled, but I would suggest traveling with the medications in the bottle with your name on them. Or another little hint is to have the pharmacy print off another label for you. And so you can stick it right on here with your name, what the dose is and what the medication is. That's gonna come in handy for traveling. Or you can travel, like I said, with the bottle, and when you get in country, you can organize it and put it in your pill organizer. But again, you could have ibuprofen, Pepto-Bismol, Zofran, a couple antibiotics. Another thing that's common is reflux. You're in another country, you're exerting yourself, you're eating a strange diet. So we see a lot of reflux and heartburn. So having some Tums or some Pepto-Bismol or something that, that agrees with you would be important. So a few antibiotics, some GI stuff, some musculoskeletal pain, some Zofran, Imodium, and then obviously if you're going to altitude, you're going to want to have your own acetazolamide. You might want your own dexamethasone, Cialis, some of the other treatments. Um, have those all organized and know how you're going to pack those and how you're going to travel with those. Um, and have it in some, some sort of travel uh, thing that makes it easy for your backpack. Then generally you're going to have another kit, right? This might just be simple stuff just for uh, blisters. Um, maybe some procedural stuff, depending on what you want to throw in there, suture kit, bandages uh, for wounds, maybe some hemorrhage control stuff. But again, especially for trips like Kilimanjaro, you're going to want a lot of blister care. So blister bands, you're going to want to know what you like, how to use it, elastic on tape, um, maybe some scissors or pocket knife, obviously. And so that can go in a small kit. Really, you can get a lot of stuff in just a couple of little things. That's going to help prepare you and also not have to take from the group gear. Um, if you have allergies or uh, known anaphylaxis, again, taking an EpiPen is going to be important. Benadryl, prednisone um, should pretty much cover you. Again, to, to try to avoid GI illness, again, good camp hygiene is so important. Washing your hands, getting the cooks to wash their hands, having hand sanitizer available, paying attention to how people are feeling in the camp is going to go a long way. So that's a quick and fast sort of basic of what you would need. Also, uh, we should mention, if you're on prescribed medications, um, make sure you bring at least two to three weeks of those or a week extra than you may need on your trip and have them labeled so other people in the, on the trip know what you're taking and know what your dose is. Um, if something should go wrong, I think that would be important also. Um, yeah, I think that should pretty much sum it up. If you guys have any questions, let us know or email me at wildmedadventures at gmail.com.